When I got to the Ivy League, I had really high expectations of the students there because I knew that these are the cream of the crop of our educational system. These are the students who did everything we told them to do really well, and the competition to get into these universities uh, is very, very, very stiff. And so I had high expectations. When I got to the classroom, some things happened that I didn't expect, and I was actually quite surprised by them. What I realized was that my students could take any test that I gave them. They were absolutely fantastic at taking tests. But if I asked them to solve a novel problem, to give me their opinion or their perspective on a particular issue, they had great difficulty with that. In fact, what my students lacked was the ability to think. Now, what do I mean by the ability to think? There's lots of different types of thinking, and they're not all the same. And, but they all, comp they all make up what we think of as thinking in general. And we need all of these skills in order to do thinking. We need creative thinking. Creative thinking is the ability to sort of think out of the box, to think uh, in novel ways. It can be very fun. There's lots of post-it notes, lots of brainstorming. But at the end of the day, very little gets done. Now, critical thinking is a different type of thinking. It, it, it requires analysis. We train doctoral students this way, to be critical thinkers. It's one type of thinking, but it's not the only type of thinking that we need. We need scientific thinking, the ability to process things in a methodological way and build on prior knowledge. We need interdisciplinary thinking, the ability to think across disciplines and between disciplines. We also need systems thinking, to take, to take into account wider contexts and unintended consequences. And we need, of course, pro-social and emotional intelligence because we have to come together and think about the problems that we need to solve. And when we're together, we have to be good to each other. So we need all of these different types of thinking, not just one type of thinking. And what I noticed was that my students lacked many, in many of these types of thinking. I wondered to myself, what was it that they had been doing all those years in school if they didn't end up able to think? What they were doing was following our instructions. They did exactly what we told them to do. And it turns out that maybe we told them to do the wrong thing. What they did was they learned, because they're so smart, they were born so smart, to um, be good at school. They learned to master the game of school. And they had become quite remarkable at doing school. But I wondered whether that translated into being good at life. And of course it doesn't. But what we see today is that being successful in school has very little to do with the skills it takes to be successful in life. In fact, my students could win if they were put on the Jeopardy game show because they were absolutely full of information, but they didn't have knowledgeability. Knowledgeability is the ability to take information and structure it in meaningful ways to solve novel problems. The ability to act upon information 